on a good coil. Check your ohms meter, your multi-tester. Check your negative to the positive. You should get virtually no resistance. Here I have virtually nothing. 0.5. I don't even need a multi-tester to do that, but I mean a multi-tester lets me drive down a little further and figure out exactly what's the problem. So let's take this battery. Try this on a good one. Positive, negative. Buzzes. Positive, negative. Zero. Nothing going on. Take this bad coil. Take a little piece of sandpaper. This is probably too coarse, but that's okay for now. Slip it in there. You can either even dial this off so I'm going to give yourself some room. And clean these points. I'll just do this live here while you're watching. Again, bottom again. Just get them clean. I got zero. Yep. So realistically, this should buzz. You know what? I don't. I could look up the specs on this and what the draw is, but I'll tell you what. The distance that I look for when I'm done is the, the same distance between the center, the um, the ferrous metal center in the coil. See, is that gap? Oh, what can I point to that with? Between the bottom here and the center down there will be the same as if I push this down the same distance between my points right now as there is between this and here when they're when they're closed. So let's put a lead on here. Here. See that? We can make an adjustment there. Sounds better. Anyway, hope that helps you.